So I was just using my NVIDIA Shield and I saw a notification telling me that a brand new update was now available for my device. Now, the first thing I thought was you have to give it to NVIDIA. I mean, after, you know, about 10 years that this device has been out for them to still, you know, push out new updates, fix things, fix bugs, um, add new features. It's still very, very impressive. I know everybody's still waiting for the Shield 2 and I do hope that NVIDIA go ahead and actually make that but for now we can see that they do care about customer feedback they do care about people that are reporting bugs or issues and they are trying their best to address them so if i just go back to my home screen let's go over to where it says settings let's click on that let's go down into device preferences click on about and here we can see right now before any updates i'm running version 11 and the security patch level is from December 2024. So definitely a bit out of date. Let's now go to system upgrade. Let's click on check for upgrade. Check for upgrade again. And we can see that the Shield Experience 9.21 is now available. Let's click on download and install. And whilst that's happening, I can click on uh, what's new. Let me do that now. Okay, so we've got some upgraded apps. We've got some resolved bugs. So they're now updated GeForce now, so it does actually support 120 FPS. And we can see some of the resolved bugs here. So they've got everything from fixing Dolby Vision content stutters when frame match feature was enabled, that's now fixed. They've got some USB tuner fixes. They've got some um, match content audio resolution whilst using USB DAC. They've got some Plex uh, fixes as well. Now, I personally don't use Plex that much, but I do use a NAS. So it'll be interesting to see that once this update has installed on my device, does this break the connection to my NAS? Do I need to reconnect, reauthorize, or is that going to carry on working? I'll also check to see if I can still use custom launchers. I know lots of people on NVIDIA Shield do use the Project Ivy launcher. I personally use the F launcher, but we need to ensure that with these updates, the ability to use a custom launcher is not broken so i will be double checking that as well let's go down we've got a uh, new and upgraded apps which is aura 3d okay so it's now preparing to install which was a, a fairly quick download now as i mentioned in the intro lots of people have been waiting for a shield successor i know there have been lots of other devices from other manufacturers like homatics i know the google chromecast 4k was supposed to be the real shield killer but just has lots of shall we say teething problems for now so really what we're looking for is for nvidia to create a brand new device give it maybe four gigs ram an up-to-date cpu supporting the latest audio video codecs running android tv 14 or android tv 16 i'm sure lots of you would buy that device straight away in fact do leave me a comment below if you're happy with your shield or if you're waiting for a successor or if you already jumped shipped and you're now using a different device which in your opinion is better than the nvidia shield Okay, let's give this a second. Okay, my device is now restarting. And you do have to say again, just the longevity of this product that, you know, even after all this time, product is still working fine, it's still receiving updates. And really there doesn't seem to be for many people a real competitor or rival to this, which is why so many people, even today, as of May, 2025, they still continue to rock the Nvidia Shield as their main primary device, even though they have no interest in gaming or emulation, they just appreciate the power of the device, the gigabit LAN, the RAM, the powerful SOC. It is still very impressive. Okay, that's now been upgraded. We can now go back and let's see exactly what's happened to my device. Okay, still saying finishing upgrade. Let's give that a second. All right, so we're back to the home screen. Here we are. All right, so the first thing to check is to see exactly what's happened to our version numbers. So let's go over to the settings. Let's go down into device preferences. Let's go into about, and we can see the patch level has now been updated to 5th of March, 2025. And we can see the new build number and also the Android TV software version, which is 9.2.1. That's all fine. Let me check my NAS drive mapping. If you go down into uh, storage, here we can see mounted network storage is still mounted. Let me now open up the K application. Let's see if I can access the content on my NAS. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. I mean, to this day, May 2025, this is still the application I use for all of my media streaming. So anything I've got stored on my NAS, any type of content I want to play, really any type of media, this application plays it flawlessly. I've never had any issues with you know, missing codecs or any problems. 
It really is for me the best media player out there. I guess if I go down into my videos, I can now see my NAS drive there, Andromeda. Let's click on that. I can now see all of my movies that I've previously purchased. All the good stuff in here. Here we have some uh, Alien. Let's click on that. Click on that again, just to make sure that the NAS access is working properly. And I can access all of the content on here. And that's working absolutely fine. That's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. So NAS storage, NAS access, no problems. Let's try custom launchers. Here I've opened up Launcher Manager for Android TV. I can click on the option to enable custom launcher. Let's click on that. We get the ADB prompt. I can click on always allow. Click on allow again. That's now enabled and it says my current launcher of choice is Project Ivy. Let's see what happens when I press the home button. Three, two, one. And we are instantly taken to that custom launcher. So custom launcher is working absolutely fine. No issue there. I've just also tried the F launcher, which is another launcher you can use. Again, you can see guys works absolutely fine. You can start any application. Starts fine. And when you back out of the application, it takes you back to your custom launcher. So, so custom launches on the latest Shield experience, 921 work absolutely fine. Let's go back. I mean, here's Plex. And for me, because I really just use it to access streaming content, I don't really use it to play local media. But for me, you know, browsing around, clicking on things, even with this latest update, everything was working absolutely fine. So really for me, guys, the update happened without any problem. Latest version installed and the things I was using before, accessing my NAS, using custom launchers, all of that still works on my device really without any issue whatsoever. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've got this update, if you've installed it, and if you've noticed any issues on your device. And the other thing to mention that if you are looking for the best way to stay safe online, how you can change your IP address, access content from all over the world, right now there's a really special offer for the next two weeks where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps, all of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.